video, I wanted to go over ways to stay like top of mind in uh, places like um, Facebook or uh, Instagram. Really, you can do this with any uh, social media, but I'm going to use um, Facebook and Instagram because uh, I have a Facebook business page and an Instagram business page, and I could actually post directly from Facebook's uh, business suite. So I'm just going to show you a quick example. So basically, what you can do is you can go to the Chamber of Commerce, or you can make a phone call to your local Chamber of Commerce, and you could ask to um, see if they are aware of any type of newsletters um, from local, like, uh, local companies. For instance, like this one is LAL Today. So LALToday.com. And basically, uh, this is just, you know, everything basically Nate Lakeland. So it'd be really kind of cool to just uh, um, get a newsletter for So like I subscribed over here. And then basically in my inbox mm -hmm. every day, I'll get, uh, you know, just some information of what's going on. So I noticed this uh, says, we made BuzzFeed. So in 2020, large cities nationwide saw their citizens relocate into other corners of the U.S. from San Francisco to Manhattan. Bags were packed and individual, individuals and families looked for gre uh, greener grass. Any guesses uh, where they found it? That's right, Lakeland. And in a recent uh, listicle of 15 cities people moved to during the pan pandemic, Lakeland came in at number one. So I click on the link and basically it takes me to the BuzzFeed article. And we have it right here. And right here, you can see Riverside, California was number one. And good old Lakeland was number two in the whole country. So that's something to be proud of. And that's something that, uh, you know, would be a good article to put up on your Facebook. Um, that way people could see it. So I'm going to show you how to do that real quick. Um, the first thing that you'll want to do is you'll want to log into your Facebook uh, page uh, or your Facebook uh, uh, personal profile. And then after you do that, you just, if you have a Facebook business page, you can just go business.facebook.com. And that's going to take you to your business suite. Okay. Now it may look a little bit different, but you're just going to look for something that says create post. So I'm going to click on create post right here. Once I'm inside to the create post, it gives me an option for Facebook and Instagram. If uh, your Instagram isn't there, it'll give you the option to connect it. But uh, if not, and you just do Facebook only, it's fine. Or And then you go to um, uh, Instagram if you wanted to. So anyway, right here, I like to do uh, la uh, hashtags. So I know I love Lakeland is a popular hashtag here. Um, BuzzFeed would be a good one because that is, let's see if there's any good other BuzzFeed. Okay, so we can just do BuzzFeed because that's where the article came from. Um, relocation would be another good one. It looks like there's 2.3 million posts going on about that. And let's think of some other things. So I already have Saturday, Monday scheduled. So this would be a good Tuesday uh, post since I or Wednesday post if you're only doing Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So we will use, um, I'm going to use Realtor in this because it's real estate or maybe mortgage. Mortgage loan because if someone did move here, they would need a mortgage uh, loan and um, they would need a Realtor. Um, let's see here. We can just put Lakeland. We can do Florida. Florida Living, 343 posts. That's fine. And then basically you would just want to maybe go down through here and just take a look at some of the keywords. Um, 15 cities everyone moved to during the pandemic and which ones they vacated. So maybe pandemic would be another good one. Pandemic life, uh, COVID-19, let's see here, what are some other good ones? Mortgage rates, so let's go ahead and throw in mortgage rates. Mortgage rates. 
So basically, you're just looking for um, you're just looking for um, keywords. Um, no state income tax. Let's try that one. Um, moving real estate. So basically, you kind of get the um, you kind of get the idea. You don't always have to select the most uh, hashtags that have the most uh, posts. Um, and the reason being is you think it's good, um, which it could be, but you're fighting with 2.3 million people. So it's not always best to have the you know pick the hashtag that has the absolute most. Um, sometimes you want to hit some of that uh, low hanging fruit, and uh, that way there's less competition, and more chance that someone will see yours. So, um, and then we could put um, yeah, you can even put you know, uh, did I put Florida in there? Let's see, Florida living. I'm just gonna put Florida. All right, so I think we are good to go. Lakeland is number two, is ranked number two in the nation to And if you write something like this, um, you can basically take these BuzzFeed uh, hashtags down here. Like so, we could just um, basically cut that out, and then we could put the hashtag inside of. We could do that um, hashtag inside here. So let's just go ahead and delete the hashtag down here. Um, is ranked number two in the nation where people move during the pandemic. So right here we can, is there any more pandemic? So we got pandemic life. So we just put during the pandemic. There we go. So you can actually include uh, hashtags and ats, and according you could even do to according to at BuzzFeed. Um, I don't know. We'll, we'll stick with the hashtag BuzzFeed. All right. So we're gonna do that, and basically we are. We don't need to add the photo. We're gonna definitely add Lakeland as the location, Lakeland, Florida. So we got that. We're gonna go down here, enter a link. So this is where you're going to post your link of the article. So um, we're just going to paste that in there and then click outside this box. And over here, it's going to start loading the preview. And then there we, there we go. It looks like Sarasota, Florida is a good one too. Um, but anyway, you kind of see what it looks like on Facebook. And then if I click on Instagram, Post can't be displayed at this time. And we might want to add a photo. Let's see here. Let's try. What I would do myself is I would go to stock.adobe or um, 
and then type in Lakeland, Florida. And for me, I would purchase that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and license this. We have an account with them and it costs money. But you can look on Pexels.com, Unsplash.com, um, Pixabay.com. You could check for uh, royalty free photos somewhere else. I'm just, for the sake of this. Uh, for the sake of this video, just to save time, I'm going to just use this particular one. This one's a big file, so I'm going to have to reduce the size of it here real quick. Right, so I'm just going to open this up real quick. Tools, test size, and I'll just do 50%, uh, maybe 60%. Shrink this down just a little bit. All right, you go back and all right, so we're going to go to Lake in Florida, pop this in there. And then we'll see what it looks like on this one. So there we go. And that's what it looks like. So this is what it looks like on Facebook, and you can preview all of them just to see what it looks like. Um, so here's the Instagram feed, here's the Facebook mobile feed, and then here's the desktop news feed. I really, really like that. It really, really pops. So, um, so now what I'm going to do is I I could go back right here if I wanted to continue editing, but I'm really, really, really good. Um, you can even put ad feeling or activity. Let's see what activity they have. Let me see if moving is an option. Let me see if move is an option. Feelings, happy. All right, and that's only for um, Facebook. So anyway, so that's a really good way to add top of mind awareness and be um, more than just a real estate agent that always asks for sales. Um, and you're just providing information and with you being you know top of their mind, whenever they run across uh, Facebook or um, Instagram, then um, they'll see your post and uh, maybe eventually use you. So anyway, so you basically you hit publish down here or you could schedule by clicking here and then schedule post. And that's it. Thanks for watching.